Good morning, friends. Oh, I just got distracted by a rooster. Um, I'm outside, obviously. I'm getting ready to leave. I have an appointment to get my nails done, and I have some errands I need to run. Um, this is Tuesday, April 9th, and I'm going to do a little shop with me video. <clears throat> I will probably just do a voiceover, and I won't actually talk in the stores uh, for two reasons. I'm still feeling kind of self-conscious vlogging in public, and also most stores uh, play music, and I don't want to get a copyright strike, so that's why I will probably be doing a voiceover for the Shop With Me portion of this video. This is going to be kind of a day in the life. We'll just see what transpires through the day <laughs> and there's a lot of noise out here this is my I don't know if you can see this very well but this is my outfit of the day I've got on just a green t-shirt and my light um, jean jacket it's a beautiful gorgeous day today these are my new shoes I told you I needed some really good um, sandals for the summer and these are the Allegria brand they are orthopedic and I think they're pretty cute and you can get a better shot of my jeans here. So let's get going, friends. And um, my first stop is to get my nails done. I have an appointment. I made an appointment this month, and we'll see if it goes better. So I'll pick you up when I'm in the stores. I'm planning to go to the thrift store. Um, I have to go to the Dollar General. And I need to pick up a couple things at Walmart. So let's get moving. The Dollar Tree is just full of Easter candy right now and so I was looking at all of the different chocolates and they actually have the Rus Russell Stover's which is a name brand. So I wound up getting a milk chocolate one and a cookie and cream one for Travis. We don't do baskets anymore but I do pick them up a little something special uh, for candy um, for Easter. And like I said they just have tons of candy all over the store. Now, I thought these bags were adorable, and I especially loved the Dumbo one, but they had all different kinds. They had uh, Tinkerbell and Mickey Mouse, and of course they had the princesses, and then this one, I wasn't sure what it was at first, but I think it was Trolls. So here I am back over by the candy again and I'm just looking things over trying to find something that does not have dairy in it for Olivia. I really like these note pads. Um, I like the one that says trust in the Lord uh, with all your heart. I really like the florals on that one. I thought it was so pretty. And then they had one that said faith in God includes faith in his timing, which I thought was really nice. They had I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. 
And then the last one they had was nothing shall be impossible with God or something like that. Or with God, nothing is impossible. All right, friends, I am done at the nail spa. The angle here is really weird. <laughs> and I don't know if you can see my nails. did a really good job as always um, and I went into the Dollar General I was looking for barbecue pork rinds for my husband which they didn't have last time last week when I went shopping and they still don't have so I did pick up a couple of other things mainly some stuff for my kids for Easter I we don't do Easter baskets anymore but Olivia asked am I gonna get any candy <laughs> So I picked up a couple of things for the kids. Um, they're my kids, but they're not kids anymore. So I don't know how, I don't want to sound like they're teenagers or whatever. Olivia technically is still a teenager, but Travis is not. So, but they'll always be my kids. Anyway, I am on my way over to the thrift store now. Um, the weather here is getting a lot nicer. It was in the 70s yesterday. I think it's going to be in the 70s again today. And as I was going through my clothes to find something to wear, I realized that in all of my decluttering that I have done in the last year, I don't, don't have very many uh, warm weather tops. I've got plenty of winter weather tops, but hardly any summer tops and I'm on my no buy year and I'm still planning to stick to that um, unless I absolutely cannot find anything at the thrift store that I can wear this summer I mean I have a few things but honestly I don't have I was looking through my drawers to find clothes and I'm like I don't have any summer tops so anyway that's my main goal to look for something uh in the clothing at the uh, thrift store so that's where i'm going to go next and then right before i come home or go home i have to stop in at walmart and just pick up a couple of things i don't know that i'm going to film in walmart because i filmed in walmart a million times so but i will film in the thrift store so off we go to the thrift store and i hope i find some tops
well that was a total bust <laughs> there was hardly anything in there that I was interested in at all I did take a little bit of footage that you just saw but uh, no tops at all except for winter tops long sleeve tops nothing short sleeve not even any three-quarter length sleeve shirts so I am going over to Walmart and I may just have to break my no buy a little bit you know prices at the thrift stores are not always that great and sometimes you can actually find tops um, brand new at Walmart for cheaper or equal to what you can get at a thrift store so if I can find some cute tops a couple of them for less than ten dollars I might just go ahead and get them at Walmart because I honestly need short sleeve shirts <laughs> I don't have anything I mean I can't say nothing I, would, I wouldn't go naked all summer but I certainly do not have very many tops to choose from so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and see what they have at Walmart and uh, when I get home I will do a haul of what I picked up at Dollar Tree and at Walmart but I don't think I'm going to do any more vlogging and or in the store shop with me unless I see something at Walmart that's really cool that for you to look at but I promise I am not buying any home decor. It's so hard, but I'm not going to. I am home. Let me turn this camera around and show you what I picked up at Walmart and the Dollar Tree. Since this is kind of a small haul, I'll just show you the stuff as I pull them out of the bags. I picked up two rolls of this floral uh, ribbon. This is the dollar from the Dollar Tree. I'll show you the Dollar Tree stuff first. Just thought that was really, really pretty. So I got two of those. And then since I couldn't find any barbecue pork rinds for my husband, I got him two bags of these salted in the shell peanuts. He enjoys those almost as much as pork rinds. So I picked those up for him. And then of course I picked up some more succulents. Like I said before, I don't really have a plan for these right now, but um, they go fast at the Dollar Tree, and so when I see them, I need to pick them up. So those are the four I got. And then I picked up this Dumbo bag. I just thought it was super cute, and I thought I could use it for our little uh, getaway trip that, my, that Scott and I are going to be going on soon and then I picked up this little uh, notepad I just thought it was really pretty and I needed another notepad for to-do lists and such I picked up these popsicle sticks I'm going to use these for um, little um, plants uh, markers I'll write down what I'm planting you know like parsley or um, lettuce or whatever and I'll put it down in my greenhouse when I plant in my greenhouse and I picked these things up for the kids for Easter these for Travis those for Olivia and these are for Travis This is for Olivia, and I will pick her up some dairy-free chocolate at Kroger, and then that's all they're going to get for Easter. And then I picked up some more of these little um, Gold Bond hand lotions for the, my purse. It's really good lotion, and um, yeah, so I picked those up. And that's everything I got at Dollar Tree, and I'll show you what I got at Walmart. The main reason I went into Walmart was to get a couple of things for my greenhouse because Scott, I'll take you outside after I eat some lunch and show you the progress that he's making on that greenhouse, but I should be able to plant soon. And so I needed a watering can specifically for my greenhouse. And I also needed a little water bottle for misting because they said, I've been doing some reading on how to grow things in a greenhouse. And they said it's important to keep the soil moist. So I got those for the greenhouse. I was going to get some seeds, but my dad already had a ton of seeds. And he let me go through them, and I picked some out. Oh my goodness, these dogs. 
And I did end up getting some tops. I got about three tops. Uh, they're all extra size extra large. Um, this one, this floral one is so pretty and it was only $7. Couldn't have got that better at the thrift store. This shirt, just a solid black one and it's super soft and it was $6. And then I got this one in a green with white flowers and this one was seven dollars so between those three shirts I should have enough to you know for the summer I shouldn't have to buy any more the only other shirt I was thinking about maybe getting was like a navy blue one so if I can find a navy blue shirt um, I might get that they did have one that was navy blue with little white um, polka dots all over it and I almost got it and I may wind up going and getting it at a later date um, because like I said they're only seven dollars so that's super cheap um, the only thing else in this bag is I got myself some underwear and a bra and you don't you don't need to see that <laughs> I picked up some more of this coconut milk this is the kind that Olivia really likes and so we drank almost the entire half gallon that I got in last week so I picked up some more of that I got some of this uh, creamer. I've never seen this kind before. It's a different flavor. It's um, just called sweet and creamy, not vanilla. And I am ready for a change. So I picked that up. I picked up some more blueberries. I just am loving my blueberries right now. So I got two boxes of these organic blueberries. Olivia was sad that I didn't get any strawberry yogurt last week, so I went ahead and picked up two of these dairy-free strawberry yogurts. I'll probably just let her eat both of them, because I prefer the blueberry. And then I'm going to be making some chicken fajitas for dinner tonight, and I needed some peppers and onions, and I just decided to go the easy route and get the ones that were already, um, what do you call it, chopped up and frozen, so I have two bags of those. And I got this big thing of organic baby spinach. Um, I had gotten some spinach last week when I went shopping, and I cooked it up and blended it up, and I made little spinach ice cubes out of it for smoothies, and it worked out really, really good. So I bought some more, and I'm going to, I'll probably show you guys how I do it. I'll probably do this this afternoon. Show you guys how I make my spinach ice cubes. And then the last thing I picked up was a fresh pineapple. I'm hungry for fresh fruits. All right, that's my little haul. This is my lunch. I'm having this green smoothie, and what's in here are two of my little spinach, frozen spinach cubes. I'll show you what those look like. They look like frozen. And then I have one of these True Lemon packets in there, sweetened with stevia. I have a scoop of hemp protein powder, half a scoop of sunflower lecithin, one scoop of this matcha green tea. This stuff is full of antioxidants. This stuff is really good for you. Um, and a little bit of unsweetened plain gelatin and I think it tastes delicious Livia wanted to taste it I gave her a taste and she made this horrible face and she said it tasted like sour grass and that if this is what it took to be healthy then just give her chicken nuggets <laughs> so, she's such a silly thing and then to go with my smoothie I'm going to have one of these guacamoles Put these at Aldi they're really really good with some corn tortillas and that's my lunch don't remember if I mentioned or not but I also put some frozen kiwi 
in it. I had bought kiwi a while ago when it was on sale and they were starting to get really, really mushy. So I just peeled them and cut them up into chunks, froze them on a cookie sheet and stuck them in a bag and I throw them into smoothies. And it's really yummy. And there's also, I added some regular ice and some water to it as well. That's what made it liquidy. When you're blending stuff in a blender, you have to add some liquid. So my liquid was just water. So here's the greenhouse that Scott's gotten done so far. There's the door, slides. He's got the plexiglass in that. He's got the boxes built, filled with uh, nice rich compost and rabbit poo and things like that. Here's my shelf for putting things on. And then he made these so that if I decide later that I want to hang flower pots or some sort of pots on, on here, we can do that. And then it's got this window that opens. And there's a window over here that opens with this handle. So of course, obviously, he still needs to put more plexiglass in, but it's quite the job. Each piece is held in with these metal clips. And he really has to push hard to get those clips in there. And there's four on each section. So his fingers were getting really sore yesterday. So I'm going to wrap some medical tape around his fingers so that hopefully he doesn't wear blisters on his hands. But it's coming along really good. And uh, hopefully next week I'll be able to plant, start planting some lettuces and things in here. This is super easy. I'm just going to take a cup of water and I have a big pot because this is a lot of spinach. So just put that in there and put the heat up on high to start with. Then I'm just going to go ahead and just add all of this spinach right in here and you don't have to wash it because it's already been washed. You don't want a ton of water in there because you don't want it soupy, but you don't want it to burn either. So, so that's all there is to it. I think I am going to add about another half a cup of water. I'm going to put the lid on this and just let it cook down, and then I'll show you what I do with it after it cooks down and then cools off a little bit. There it is all cooked down it took less than five minutes maybe five minutes if you know if that so I'm gonna let this cool down because I don't want to use my immersion blender when it's piping hot so I'm gonna let this cool down and when it's cool enough to work with I'll bring you back so the spinach is still a little warm but it's cooled off and I'm gonna go ahead and use my immersion stick blender that's just discolored from rust <laughs> it's clean. Um, I'm going to use my immersion blender and I'm going to go ahead and just blend this all up into a fine puree, very reminiscent of baby food. Once it's all blended up, I'm going to scoop it out with my cookie scoop onto a cookie sheet lined with parchment paper. So there they are. There's a little bit left in the pot, probably enough for maybe four more. So I'm going to put those on a smaller sheet, cookie sheet, or a little pan. Um, I get those in the freezer. Then once these are completely frozen solid, they peel right off of the parchment's paper without any problem whatsoever and I will store them in a Ziploc bag and I use two of these little mounds per smoothie and it works out great. I don't have any waste 
and yeah, it's really, really easy to do it this way. You could just throw the spinach straight into the freezer without cooking it down, but I wanted to make them more like ice cubes so that it will thicken the um, smoothie, and it works really well. Olivia has been teaching Artie to whistle, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. And um, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. And then you clap your hands twice. So I'm going to try to get him caught on uh, video singing it. kind of a combination of if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. He makes little symphonies. He puts all kinds of different notes together and he'll he'll take a song that he knows and add things to it and mix it around and <laughs> he was doing the cat call and if you're happy and you know it all together. And he loves to sing to Kermit. Good job, Artie. Good job, Artie. And here is what we had for dinner. We had chicken fajitas, and I have some of my dairy-free sour cream and dairy-free cheese on mine, and then I had some grapes on the side. And Scott finished my greenhouse with Olivia's help. They got it all done. So I'm hoping, if the weather permits, I will be outside tomorrow planting in my greenhouse. I'm very excited to see how it turns out. I'm going to close this vlog off here. I know I'm going to have plenty of footage to make a nice long day in the life. Thank you so much for coming along with me and going shopping with me. I hope you enjoyed the tip about the spinach for smoothies. And yeah, I had a great day and I hope you have a great day as well. We'll talk to you later, friends. Bye-bye.